Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera Bersama lagi kita dalam podcast belakang pentas bersama saya MK Rizwan dan Kak Jen Yes, di mana uh, untuk orang-orang yang baru terjumpa podcast ni Kita sebenarnya membincangkan uh, hal-hal dan isu-isu Bukan isu sangat lah Kak Jen, eh. kita sebenarnya bagi insight Tapi Kak Jen tahu insight kalau kita google dia bermaksud wawasan. Ah uh, iyalah memang kita berwawasan apa. Oh, Okey buat. Yes. <laughs> kita memberi wawasan uh, tentang topik-topik uh, dalam industri muzik kita lah yang berkenaan dengan industri muzik kita. Okey untuk hari ni Kak Jen sebenarnya saya nak nak bincangkan tentang kita selepas MCO. Macam MCO kan semua orang duduk kat rumah, tak ada tak ada benda nak buat. Ada pun mungkin uh, persembahan muzik secara atas talian. Tapi of course vibe dia tak sama dengan live. Hmm. But then, bila kita habis MCO, back to back every week sepanjang 2-3 tahun yang lepas ni, konsert dengan gigs banyak kan? Tapi saya nak tanya Kak Jen, soalan pertama kita hari ni, apa beza konsert dengan gig tu sebenarnya Kak Jen? Sebab saya rasa ramai lagi yang tak tahu gigs tu apa, konsert tu apa? Konsert tu is a bigger scale production. Dia adalah uh, production yang lebih besar. Mm-hmm. Gig-gig tu adalah uh, smaller uh, dan saya rasa semua penting. Yeah. Gig ke, konsert ke, um, busking ke uh, Mereka semua jadi platform untuk uh, musician belajar Macam mana nak berinteraksi dengan dengan public mm-hmm. Macam Betul? mana nak meningkatkan diri mereka sebelum naik stage yang besar Yes Tapi saya uh, selalu dapat soalan ni tau Di mana tak ramai orang Ini kalau kita bercakap pasal perbezaan antara mainstream dengan underground kan Sebab biasanya underground ni dekat banyak dekat gigs Sebab kita tak tak dapat uh, Tak selalu ada opportunity untuk perform dalam skill uh, sebesar konsert Tapi orang selalu tanya kan Macam macam mana nak discover all these gigs ni Sebab dia tak keluar TV, tak keluar radio sangat Jadi kita tak tahu mana nak jumpa event-event kat, dekat gigs ni So What do you say? Saya rasa yang paling penting if you, if you love music or you you nak mencari uh, new music, mm. you kena buat effort lah. It's it's community, so you 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 kena tengok all the community places. You kena follow your artists. Yeah. You kena get into it lah. All the gig guys, all the gig people yang selalu turun ke gig. They will mati-mati to check out Oh my my artist is having show here Kadang-kadang dia akan ikut artis dia mana-mana pun Ipoh pun pergi So <laughs> I, I think um, It's terpulang pada orang tu and, and interest dia untuk Mencari dia punya artis ke mana kan Ya yeah, betul, betul So uh, selalu pun saya akan t- jawab Kalau ada orang tanya Eh macam mana nak tahu Kalau uh, Artis ni perform ke Saya cakap follow lah artis tu punya Instagram Ataupun Betul. better yet you follow venue Ataupun tempat yang biasanya orang buat gig ni kan Sebab kadang-kadang venue ni pun dia akan promote uh, Bulan ni uh, apa performance yang ada kan Tapi, tapi sebenarnya uh, Konsert ni kita boleh anggap dia macam Dia bukanlah setiap bulan Ataupun setiap minggu ada konsert kan Tapi gig adakah sebenarnya gig ni like Setiap minggu ada gig Sepatutnya uh, setiap minggu ada gig, yes, betul. Um, but sekarang ni selepas COVID kita kita nampak setiap minggu pun ada konsert juga. Uh-uh. I mean uh, saya saya bukan nak cakap every week got concert because mainstream. Hmm. Itu saya rasa something yang yang tak betul. Everybody thinks that only mainstream artist ada concert. Tapi uh, only A few artists mainstream yang boleh ada konsert Because yeah. kalau you buat konsert You perlu ada banyak lagu Betul. Kalau you belum sampai tahap artis yang ada banyak lagu Susah untuk awak buat konsert Because people only want to hear your hit songs mm. They don't want to hear anything else They want to hear no side B lah Nak eksperimen ke apa tak ada Dia nak nyanyi sekuat hati Dan enjoy bersama awak So yeah, you need a, you need a number of songs lah Menarik juga bila Kak Jen mention pasal apa uh, You sebagai artis kalau you nak perform you kena ada lagu uh, Ada selection of lagu lah kan So maksudnya adakah kira Sebab sekarang ni kan kita pun tahu yang sekarang ni zaman orang buat single Orang dah tak keluar album sangat kan Tapi kalau zaman dulu album is one thing yang kira paling utama lah Kalau you nak jadi penyanyi ke apa kan Sebab bila you buat konsert You akan nyanyikan lagu-lagu yang dalam you punya album tu kan Betul. But now What do you think about artis yang nyanyi cover? Adakah nyanyi cover dekat konsert tu tak bagus ke bagus ke macam mana? 
Saya rasa kalau lagu cover tu adalah something yang bermakna pada awak, mungkin lagu yang menginspirasikan awak menjadi penyanyi ke, mm-hmm. awak pernah bawa lagu tu dan menang some reality program ke, saya rasa itu that's okay. Tapi sekadar nak membuat isian konsert tu, <laughs> I, I, I think it's not it's not right. Tapi it's hard nowadays like you say mm-hmm. singles is is a is uh, what everybody is doing because investment is much lower bila kita buat uh, single hmm. uh, but this is a topic we need to talk about so yes. kita wait for this topic to come oh, okay kita akan buat separately oh yes 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 yes, okay. yes yes menarik ni kan? yes uh, okay kalau macam tu saya proceed dengan ada benda yang uh, saya tak tahu bila orang tengok ataupun dengar podcast ni tapi Baru-baru ni, tak adalah baru sangat. Sebenarnya Kak Jen, pada Januari yang lepas, um, Mufti Pulau Pinang, Datuk Seri Dr. Wan Salim, dia ada buat teguran lah kepada Datuk Seri Siti Nuh Aliza sebab pasal konsert Datuk Seri Siti tu yang terlalu dekat dengan bulan puasa. So, saya nak tanya Kak Jen, uh, kita selalu dengar sebenarnya benda-benda yang macam okay, akan ada uh, orang-orang yang akan cuba untuk, bukanlah kita kata nak nak apa ah macam membangkang kan bangkanglah dia macam mempersoalkan kenapa ada konsert tu konsert ini tapi adakah ini baru terjadi dalam beberapa dekad ni ke dekad ke abad ah dekad lah eh, 10 tahun dekad dekad 10 tahun okay, tapi abad kita dah setengah abad <laughs> ha, <laughs> adakah dari... daripada yang setengah abad yang lalu pun sama juga isu dia orang nak konsert je ada orang bangkang sama Serious je lah. i mean Problem konsert di Malaysia selalu mengundang kontroversi. Oh, yeah. Maupun artis antarabangsa ke, artis tempatan ke. Dalam 40 tahun saya bekerja dalam industri ni, mm-hmm. isu rambut lah, rambut panjang lah, tattoo <laughs> palsu lah, pakaian, minum darah, sexual orientation. Nama konsert tu pun boleh jadi kontroversi. Isu, yeah, isu. Eh? Yeah, betul. So, I rasa people kena look at concerts for what it is. Concert tu adalah hmm. entertainment semata-mata. Dia bukan nak nak uh, nak menukar not because my favorite singer wears blue hair, I'm going to suddenly dye my hair blue color and pergi sekolah. You ingat apa I'm going to kena? I'm going to kena from the cikgu balik. <laughs> right. So um walaupun music tu ada influence tetapi saya rasa kita harus educate kita yeah, punya orang betul. untuk faham that concert I go there I enjoy I go home and and I, that's it yes and correct maksudnya uh, the best case scenario adalah bila uh, orang yang individu yang pergi tengok concert tu dia dah dia macam spiritually bukan spiritually lah tapi dia dah firm dengan siapa dia yes. sebelum dia pergi tengok concert tu lah maksudnya betul. kan sebab kalau tak sebab like you or not sebenarnya memang ada kalau orang yang terlalu tak sub dengan mana-mana artis, dia somehow akan try untuk follow jadi berpakaian mungkin macam arti tu. Tapi benda tu dah jadi macam itu masalah individu tu lah. Tak kuat iman. Ha, senang cerita. Tapi benda ni kalau kita debate sampai bila-bila pun banyak benda yang kita tak boleh nak buat. Ya, betul. I rasa kalau lagu tu atau artis tu menyinggung perasaan awak, hmm. don't go. Don't yeah. buy the ticket. Don't see. Please don't see. So, as simple as that. I mean, uh, sekarang ni, zaman sekarang, you can see everything you want hmm. on internet. Ya, yeah, betul. Apa saja, apa? You tell me apa yang you tak boleh dengar. Lelaki yang tak tak berpakaian nyanyi nyanyi tak berpakai ber, ber, what? Not not totally new lah. Ber, uh-huh. ber, tak pakai shirt. Ada je. So What's the what's the thing that the the main thing kita kena faham is education. What is right and what is wrong should be educated to mm-hmm. to us. What you do and what you don't do. If you are educated, you will understand. Oh, ni. Ah, I, I, I this is off limit. Yes, I shouldn't do this. And kita sebagai orang Asia sebenarnya Asians, we have a limit to what we we uh, are ex uh, enjoy to be uh, exposed yes, to. Yes. Most of us don't like when we hear uh, perkataan kesat ke apa. Most of us will be like, oh, hmm. terkejut. Tak, untuk orang yang yang lain mungkin they 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 used to listen uh-huh. to it, but for us, 
we are still quite conservative in that sense. I mean that is our value lah kan. Mm. Malaysian uh, ataupun Asian punya values betul. memang kita begitu orangnya. Betul. Tapi tapi betul juga tadi bila Kak Jem mention yang macam sekarang ada internet semua benda pun Honestly, berita pun scary. Okay? Yeah, yeah, betul, I tengok betul. berita, I pun scared. I'm like, <laughs> boleh ada orang macam ni membunuh macam uh-uh. ni ataupun whatever they've been doing. The 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 stories are getting scarier and scarier yeah, yeah, online. Yeah. It's until the point that I don't even watch berita because I'm scared. It's, yeah, betul, <laughs> betul. I agree, I agree. It's more scary than concert. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tapi of course konsert kita dalam entertainment punya industri ni paling senang lah orang nak jentik tahu habis. Betul. Because that's why I said konsert selalu menjadi medan pertaruhan untuk untuk politik. Ya. Yeah. Th- this is the problem is that when some somebody makes noise everybody melompat. It's a knee jerk mm-hmm. reaction. Oh, I saw this artist drink blood. Oh, drink <laughs> blood. Please, the artist didn't drink blood. He probably ribena right. in a glass <laughs> lah. <laughs> Tapi you, you dah terus, oh Ben, tak boleh. Ah, yeah, ya, betul, betul, betul. Sebab kat, eh, itulah. Benda-benda ni, I mean, kita kita pernah borak sebelum ni Kak Jen. Pasal pasal di mana isu-isu konsert ni, uh, now, kita kesian kepada Malaysians yang yang uh, termakan dengan uh, apa naratif ataupun propaganda yang cuba disampaikan oleh parti-parti politik kita tak mention mana-mana parti politik secara spesifik tapi memang sebenarnya kat jen orang-orang yang yang bela- at, 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 ataupun orang-orang yang ada kat dalam parti politik ni dia orang tahu benda-benda ni tapi they they have been using uh, isu-isu macam konsert ni semua ni untuk political punya advantage of course so and and honestly speaking don't tell me that everybody tak pernah melalui zaman exactly. remaja. Exactly. You, Mesti diorang pun pernah pergi it. show. We've all told our parents stories. We've all done something or rather in in our life. Uh-uh. But we're none the worse for it. Kita didn't come out and become some crazy person. We are people who experience life. Yeah, betul. So, but we experience life with the guidance of our parents, with the guidance of our teachers that said, Jen, you can't do this because of such and such. Oh, okay. I I understand. I can't do this. So it, it's very important that kita punya uh, education system dengan kita punya parents mm-hmm. guide us in the right way because gejala is everywhere. It's everywhere. You step out of the house, you you, you got gejala. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, the first thing you learn, don't go into a car with strangers. Mm-hmm. Then why can't we learn don't do this at a concert? Don't or don't do that at concert. Yeah. It's the same thing, kan? Yeah, betul betul. Ini maksudnya saya rasa there's no end to this uh, benda lah. Memang sampai bila-bila pun orang akan still menggunakan uh, isu-isu macam ni sebagai uh, political punya tools or weapons betul. untuk you know they they want again their votes. Okay, controversial sikit kita punya topik ni tu ada bunyi polis kat belakang tu. No, <laughs> Jangan takut <post>, saya. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. So Kak Jen bercakap pasal uh, saya masih lagi tertarik nak sembang ataupun nak tanya Kak Jen banyak benda uh, pasal concert ban ban as in apa? Cancel concert. Ha bukan ban yang oh, main tu. Oh, ban that ban. Ha that mm, ban. Okay, band. sebab dekat Malaysia ni ter, 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 apa kita macam Malaysia ni very restricted lah in a way kan Kita punya fan lover, uh, music lovers yang ada kat Malaysia ni Banyak artis yang kita tak boleh nak tengok Because of mungkin dah kena ban Ataupun uh, kementerian meletakkan syarat yang sangat tight Untuk artis-artis daripada luar untuk datang perform Sebab kita tahu sebelum ni macam Beyonce Beyonce dia, dia terus macam okay that's it Malaysia is out of the list yep. Ha, lepas tu macam Rihanna Rihanna terus MIA terus kan tak, tak ada So banyak lagi artis yang baru-baru ni pun Kita ada Coldplay pun jadi isu Tapi tapi konsep si jalan kan yang I mean Rihanna was a case of It was banned Then she was lepas when she said she would follow the guideline mm-hmm. After that uh, She had her personal problems mm-hmm. uh, Then she didn't come here at all So uh, that subject was is, is totally different But we do have others that Mm, the band came about something they heard on on the internet something they watched on YouTube mm-hmm. tapi mungkin that artist wouldn't have done what they did 
uh, here or it was very very long ago when they too were very young mm, yeah, i mean uh, artist pun kadang-kadang they they didn't um, do it on purpose because it happened so happened mm. in the middle of concert but at the same time uh, being too strict i remember in 1990 two bands two of the biggest bands in the world Chicago and Toto were both stopped from coming to Malaysia because they had long hair Whoa. yes i went to singapore to watch this the two bands both of them because they're both um, uh, very big influences because they're big bands they played one had horns players the other one was a group of sessionists that was mm. like top notch Toto, for goodness sake, Africa was the number one. And how many Grammys did it win? In mm-hmm. so, I I went to watch them, and I tell you, our musicians and our community missed a chance yeah. to see that level of musicianship. Musician. Betul, it's, crazy. it's not easy to get that yeah. opportunities. But uh, and the tour T-shirt I bought a Toto tour T-shirt had Kuala Lumpur written at the back because it was last minute. So um, yeah, it's kind of sad that that it, it's always a knee-jerk reaction. Yeah. Kita, kita oh, ni rambut panjang ni because they takut they they they, they dah dah said rambut panjang tak boleh to local acts. Then come along a foreign act mm, now stuck jam. I have to ban the the foreign act as well because I ban the local act. Uh. But you know. Like I said so many times, just because somebody does metal music, has long hair, does not mean that they are the worst person alive. Exactly. Please, ah, uh, jangan judge people by its its appearance. Don't judge the book by its cover. Semua orang dok preach benda tu. But please, lah. Saya, saya nak nak mengupas sikit pasal yang pasal long hair ni because I have personal personal beef pasal long hair ni because daripada zaman sekolah eh awak long hair saya ha, zaman sekolah habis je sekolah saya simpan rambut lepas tu uh, kebetulan uh, sekolah panggil batch saya untuk balik and bagi talk to form 5 masa tu and rambut saya tak lebih kurang macam sekarang ah tak adalah panjang betul kan but oh saya kena pula oleh cikgu-cikgu ya yeah, sebab macam saya ditegur masa perhimpunan yang ada jun, yang ada student lagi masa tu which saya dah alumni sebab dia dia kata Rambut panjang macam mana nak jadi contoh kepada adik-adik So that is my first experience Got told off in the middle in of the, the yeah. perempuan So oh. it is personal to me And then remember Kak Jai kita pernah ada buat satu konsert Di mana kita yeah. perform dan kita di, diarahkan oleh venue tu untuk potong rambut dan Tak boleh rambut panjang maksudnya Tapi can somebody please write in the comment Saya saya personally tak faham kenapa rambut panjang tu Haa uh, apa apa rambut panjang tu apa dia tidak 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 seperti lelaki ke adakah rambut panjang menyerupai perempuan uh, excuse me hang tua juga long hair lah ya yeah. <laughs> kat sana nabi muhammad also rambut panjang ha ah, true ha they all rock stars yeah so saya okey benda tu saya tak tak tak, tak faham antena okey tak apa tolak tepi saya punya kegeraman itu but it's funny i i find it funny dia orang ban uh, those band daripada datang ke Malaysia because of rambut panjang yes correct i mean uh, what people don't understand juga is when you have a concert it's not just the artist you know it's all the people belakang tabe that lose work yeah definitely we're talking about engineers set builders uh, all people the crew, who yes uh. the crew everybody and all the the sambilan the the people who sell food yeah, the, the yeah. ho- hotels the transport so every time we do something like this when we cancel out uh, i'm i'm really glad that this time uh, during uh, good vibes one of the vendors stepped forward and said how much money he lost, he lost. because that is the truth when you have already prepared food for 5000 people which is not easy to yeah. do you have raw material with what are you going to do with it where are you going to find 5000 people to jual without mm-hmm. it going bad the food is going to go bad yeah. so it's literally champa in the dustbin 
So rugi itu rugi rugi rugi, rugi. rugi. Ya, yeah, ya yeah, betul. Uh, it is interesting bila Kak Jem men- mention pasal orang-orang lain yang hilang job because of uh, kalau kita cancel job. Which benda ni uh, sebelum ni saya tak tak nampak the impact tu begitu. Kita tahu secara teori ataupun faktanya okey. Uh, bila buat konsert ni ramai orang yang bekerja dalam konsert tu. Tapi ada sekali tu uh, saya baru habis perform uh, untuk Sheila Hamzah punya konsert. Ma- kalau tak salah saya masa tu ada At least 5 ke 10 konsert yang happen at the same time Tahun lepas So kita ada Blackpink masa tu uh, Ada Sheila Hamzah punya konsert around the same weekend tu juga So ada sekali tu saya naik Grab And then sembang dengan brother Grab tu And then dia cerita pasal Oh last weekend best gila KL banyak job banyak booking because of KL pack kan So saya macam oh si bila ada banyak konsert Ada banyak yes. shows Kira kita apa Orang tu ramai kat situ. So bayangkan kalau brother Gap, Grab ni pun dapat banyak booking, banyak job. Apatah lagi orang yang hotel, tourism ni kan. Hotel, restoran. Saya pergi konsert Ella yang dekat Penang. Habis konsert dekat pulau tu. Kebetulan tengah malam tu kita habis, habis konsert tu nak pergi makan. Tak banyak pula mamak yang buka. yang buka. Tapi bila jumpa mamak yang buka je Orang beratus sampai gelang kat Jen So maksudnya Dekat stadium dekat Penang tu Bila habis show Mamak-mamak ni semua penuh Betul. That means Restoran local Local food vendors ke apa semua pun uh, Dapat kesan juga daripada benda tu kan Definitely. Tapi Bila saya tengok Rata-rata orang yang komen kat Jen ha, Saya ni kadang-kadang bi- <laughs> Baca komen Tak Dia dah tahu dah kalau baca komen tu biasanya kita akan sakit hati tapi nak juga baca kan. Tapi bila baca komen tu orang cakap ah biarlah macam contohnya yang pasal Taylor Swift ni yang Malaysia tak dapat dapat kat Singapura. Oh banyak yang komen kata oh apa ah, bukan Taylor Swift pun yang bagi rezeki. Alah benda tu tak impact aku pun. Maksudnya orang okey dia hanya pandang pada dia punya <laughs> circle dia ataupun rumah dia je. Dia tak pandang dari segi ekonomi secara apa orang kata bigger picture tu kan. It's always about the bigger picture, actually. Yeah. I mean, you can imagine us. Uh, I work in a gig economy. Mm. Uh, kais pagi makan pagi. Yeah, uh, no kais, no, no makan. No, no kais, no makan. So um, I need job. Mm-hmm. If I don't have jobs, if there's no concert, uh, yes, there are th- other things that I do. Of course, I do corporate gigs. I do this. I do orang kawin ke mana. Everything under the sun. But concerts is the bigger income for everybody. Yeah. In one concert, could most likely is a, between 100 to 150 people working at the back mm-hmm. that you don't see. Mm-hmm. And it, it, you go there because of the artist in front. But when you count everybody, that artist in front gave jobs to 150 to 200 people. Yeah. So um, that's rezeki halal for everybody. Yeah, betul, betul. So I, I don't uh, understand what what people don't get when when we do concerts, even for f- foreign artists. For foreign artists, it's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Semua local crew. Mm-hmm. Uh, mungkin dia bawa crew dia sendiri untuk jaga dia punya barang dekat atas pentas dan artis dia. Tapi yang lain semua security, yeah. uh, all those uh, safety, health people. There's tons of people the stadium uh, rentals mm. and stuff like that is there's tons of people making money off that, that one that show, one show yep. just that one show so that impact um is taken away the minute something is banned can you imagine mm. i book myself for a concert and then two weeks before the show i find it, it's cancelled i'll be like yeah but uh, and i've already given my time up for for that particular job Uh, I need to pay my bills at the end of the month and I have no money. Mm-hmm. Then what am I going to do? What what do I do? That's how volatile the, the, the concert business or our entertainment business is. Is sampai sponsors pun tak nak masuk business kita because yeah. it's terlalu volatile dan dan juga kerana dia, dia takut kena lash back from the controversy uh, 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 Contro- whatever controversy that comes out whether it's uh, uh, about the artist or the concert or the venue or the wherever mm-hmm. uh, dia akan kena juga um, yeah. so nowadays it's very difficult to get sponsors for for concerts semua orang dah takut eh? ya yeah, ya yeah, takut of course if i'm the sponsor i also takut 
sekejap ada concern sekejap tak ada concern yeah. then how so sebenarnya bila 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 Kak, bila Kak Jen cakap macam tu tadi baru saya terfikir macam oh sebenarnya kalau kalau jadi backlash tu dia lagi banyak mendatangkan mudarat daripada benda yang kononnya kita nak elak daripada jadi mudarat tu maksudnya bila kita cancel benda last minute lagi ramai orang yang suffer yang yeah. yang terlibat yes. dalam dalam show tu suffer yes and uh, and kadang-kadang the reasoning for the cancellation dia dia, dia macam tak tak ada tak ada solid reason, reason yang i mean if, if that was a reason in the first place then jangan bagi <laughs> permit lah ni dah bagi permit dah build the stage dah semua ni dan tarik yeah you can imagine those people build the stage put everything there and then the next thing you know sorry no show Hmm. Those guys are going to have to argue with the poor promoter to get their money. Yeah. Uh. And and I think that everybody should know that gig workers need to be paid 50% deposit and that 50% is non-refundable because I'm not in the business with everybody else. I'm mm-hmm. just working. I'm just working to put food on the table for my family. Yeah. So it is something that a lot of people don't understand and that's not just us you know it's all gig workers mm. uh doesn't matter whether you're a concept photographer or a videographer or whoever all of us are in the same boat we do job to get money to put food on the table yeah. um so yes people have to understand this okay saya nak bagi mungkin orang masih tak tak boleh terbayangkan lagi sebab kita bekerja dalam tu so kita senang nampak Kak Jen maksudnya dalam sesebuah konsert tu ataupun dalam sesebuah uh, apa orang kata acara uh, persembahan tu siapa sebenarnya yang terlibat jadi ok jom kita list kan sebenarnya bila kita buat konsert sebab orang biasa akan nampak oh artis tu je atau paling-paling ada penya- uh, ada penari mungkin ada kru sikit tapi yang orang tak nampak ni siapa siapa lagi yang ada Kak okay, Jen kita ambil example uh, konsert City Noah ok kita ambil konsert City Concert City, saya rasa musicians, uh, string players uh, dengan uh, rhythm section, dengan BVs. Mm-hmm. Saya rasa maybe 20 people, okay. 18, 20 people, something like this lah. Eh? We uh, just ang- anggaran. Anggaran, two musicians, okay. And then Duplo. the dancers, because dancers. dia ada uh, ethnic punya mm-hmm. segment tu. Saya rasa maybe another... 12 16 dancers yeah. around there. Okay, that's all the people that's on top of the pentas and maybe a two guest artists. Mm-hmm. So that one is atas pentas. Then uh, dekat belakang pentas you have uh, all the the uh, crew yang j- jaga musical instruments. Mm-hmm. Uh, yang jaga stage management. Yeah. Uh, th- that's probably uh, another six people. Mm-hmm. And then you have those that are Uh, jaga makanan yep, Dan yep. Uh, all the hospitality Untuk semua artis Sem- tu uh, betul. And then we have MCP The crew that's doing the shooting mm-hmm. We have camera people uh, We have sound engineers We have three sound engineers Because mm-hmm. one is a front of house For for what the audience hears mm-hmm. We have monitors For what all the musicians and the artists hear And then we have broadcast Because they're shooting uh, to To release Yep And then after that we have uh, all the rest the concert director uh, lighting director and assistant everybody thinks lighting director is one person lighting director is sometimes three people because got follow spot to, to <laughs> handle <laughs> got uh, face light la what light i mean people don't know the technicalities but it mm. takes that many people Then those follow spot you think automatic. Those follow spot <laughs> kalau ada empat follow spot empat orang. Empat orang ah uh, yeah betul um, betul. Yeah, so um, then we go f- uh, further down the line to uh, the caterers, mm-hmm. the yeah. the people with the logistics, the drivers, the ambulance fellow standing by in front for the audience, at the back for mm-hmm. the artists, uh, security personnel, usherette yes, untuk yes. the d- Dudukkan yeah. orang tu All the makeup uh, artist Yes, all the make- yes. Uh. There's a ton of people I think at least 150 I think more uh, 200 to 250 people For that kind of big concert mm. uh, that, Any concert at that level uh, All those uh, Anwar Zin And Siti uh, All at least Don't talk about all the festivals Rock away, rock the world Rock the rock everything <laughs> Those pun ramai orang Betul, Because yeah. ramai artis yeah. Artis Itu lagi lah Yes ha. 
Yeah. So, yeah, and it's outdoor. So you have a toilet yeah. to worry about lah. How your vendor gonna come in and set up the truck lah? Banyak. Betul, Ramai betul. sangat um, benda yang we have to take care of, and that is for your enjoyment for four hours or three mm. hours. You come to the concert, you enjoy yourself, you go home. But the number of days that we sat at the stadium yes. was five days, okay? Betul, betul. <laughs> of setting up and doing betul. things. So, orang just nampak oh gambar bila artis tu perform itu je concert tu just about that. Orang tak nampak yang behind the scene tu Orang yang bekerja tu Berapa ratus orang I mean kalau nak buat macam konsert tu saja Macam yang Kak Jem mention tadi Itu baru yang dalam hall tu Yang kat luar tu yang berniaga apa semua tu Itu yes. nak ada rugi juga Kalau konsert tu cancel Susukah hati begitu kan I mean uh, honestly speaking By the time the door opens And the show starts Maybe one hour later All of us have done 90% of our job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tinggal hanya 10%, 10% execution saja dekat atas pentas. Mm-hmm. Yang lain programming, uh, graphics, semua dah buat way ahead of time. Uh, arrangement, yeah. rehearsal in the studio for the for the musicians and betul, the artists. Betul. So yes, a lot of work has yeah. has taken place prior to the show. Betul. Ya, yeah, so sebenarnya benda yang saya nak tekankan ini sebab saya kita bukan jen bekerja dalam dalam uh, industri ataupun gig ekonomi yang macam ni. Jadi kita memang terkesan kalau orang cancel ataupun provoke pro. I mean, yes, mungkin akan ada sesetengah konsep yang memang saya pun rasa patut tak buat daripada awal kan, mungkin keterlaluan. Tapi jangan semua konsep pun nak dijadikan uh, tools untuk macam apa ayat 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 kat jen tadi uh, apa uh, peperangan uh, battlefield yeah, battleground yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> apa kata tadi what ayat terpadu uh, uh, what, what did i say uh, medan pertem- pertem- pertempuran politik yes uh. so <laughs> jangan sebab kita ni lah gajah-gajah bertempur kita ni yang apa anak-anak semua anak-anak hmm. rusa hmm. tu yang kena pijak yang and orang tak nampak collateral damage katanya yes betul it is collateral damage absolutely yeah. and uh, And we have to see the positive side of concerts. Yeah. I mean, people have done studies on this. It's not us talking nonsense, right? That that uh, music creates uh, dopamine, happiness. Yes, yes, uh, And and it stirs things in your brain that normal things do- doesn't stir. That's why music has such a big impact on people. Is because of this. Yeah. If if you're wondering why music has big impact, it's because it's it's. Uh, psychological it's physiological Th- there are things that that if you look at in the internet you you know it, it helps mathematics yeah, betul, betul. it calms you down it betul. lowers your blood pressure yeah, And, yeah. I, ini saya agree and kepada yang mungkinlah kan uh, <laughs> dia bitter sikit orangnya dia macam oh konsert ni tak boleh konsert ni itu okey Pergilah <laughs> Pergilah sekali Pergilah sekali That's the reason Kenapa orang pergi I mean Kak Jain Kalau saya pergi tengok konsert One thing yang Saya paling suka It's not the music Saya paling suka adalah The vibe yang the Semua orang The Betul. atmosphere Bila Bayangkan Dia macam perasaannya tu Macam sama kalau orang tengok bola Dekat stadium Kak Jain Absolutely It's absolutely Absolutely correct. the same kan Bila yes. orang cheers kan Macam wow Satu stadium Ataupun the whole Event hall tu Cheers You tahu tak bila you dalam selautan manusia tu you rasa yes saya tak tahu nak cakap so sebab tu saya kata kalau jangan bitter sangat pergi tengok konsert dulu and then baru cakap but, but but that's why i said when when you first asked me when we first started you asked me what's the the biggest the, the show with the biggest impact mm-hmm. it was that show where 80000 people singing word for word song for song All the yeah. Malaysian hit songs, and it doesn't matter Melayu ke India ke China ke, they all sing. Betul. Belayan jiwa ke hijau ke sinaran ke semua yeah. ni. It's a, a big unifying factor. It's a big factor for you to feel like you belong. Yeah, exactly. Belong. It's a belonging. Belonging tu. Sebab kadang kan bila saya tengok konsert bila berada dalam keadaan itu, saya rasa ramai orang pun pernah experience benda ni. Kalau mungkin kau tak pernah tengok. Uh, Uh, konsert mungkin kau orang pernah tengok bola secara live di mana kita rasa terharu yang sampai keluar air mata bukan sedih pun tak ada benda yang sedih yes, pun betul. tapi you overwhelm dengan rasa best tu sampai you keluar air mata and then you leave the stadium dengan perasaan yang sangat best uh, sumpah this, this is correct I, 
I've been to watch Arsenal live in in the Emirates Stadium. Hmm. Eighty thousand people when they sing along, hair stand. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. it's, it's like wow, man! It's hair stand, and and they're not. And when they come out the stadium, semua terato, all going one way, no shoving, no pushing, no shouting nonsense. Tak ada. They walk through a a back lane of housing estate somehow. No problem. <laughs> on to the on to the underground and and out yeah, of there. Yeah. So, you know, you cannot salah sangka just because of one or two yeah. people or one or two shows that. That even sometimes uh, that also salah sangka like metal. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Metal is just a a, a form of um, a form of music. It's just a genre. Yeah, and and it's a form of of emotional release. Yes, uh, exactly. People go there. They do not. Uh, you do not find people who like metal music go to their office and start growling at everybody. <laughs> they, they they do not growl. I, I promise you. So, uh, um, they go there. They dance. They they jump up and down, but after they go home, they are the uh, normal ordinary normal person. person yeah. But they manage to enjoy themselves. Yes, they yes. get the release. It it surprise kat Jen sebab dekat gig, you know kadang kadang saya kenal orang ni orang tu sebagai okay dia ni dia ni seorang yang sopan. Okay orang ni orangnya begini lembut cakap ni semayang tak tinggal. Tapi bila pergi gig yang ada music metal. Saya finally dapat tengok, oh this is another side of him <laughs> yang saya rasa itulah dia punya outlet untuk dia keluarkan marah dia ke apa ke sebab Betul. he has been good <laughs> all this time. Itu jelah masa dia nak keluarkan benda tu. I mean dia tak ada menyakitkan siapa-siapa, dia tak ada tumbuk siapa-siapa ke. It just dia keluarkan And he probably tu. didn't tumbuk anybody because he because managed of, to yes. go yeah, go yeah. there and release, release. the frustration. Release. Bayangkan kalau dia tak release tu dia yeah. tumbuk orang kat luar kan. Betul. But, Ramai orang salah faham But Kak Jen I rasa that one also Kita kena cakap In one separate topic Why? Pasal music metal <laughs> ni kan <laughs> Yes 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 Sebab Absolutely orang Absolutely agreed Kalau kita Nanti kita akan cakap Pasal music metal ni In another topic So kalau korang ada benda Nak tambah pun Boleh boleh letak ha, dekat Kalau ada mana-mana. questions ha, ke question apa ke, ke Silakan kita Sebab ke. korang akan surprise Dengan Musician-musician metal Yang ada kat Malaysia ni Betul. Tapi Okay okay Kita simpan <laughs> Kita simpan yeah, dulu yeah, yeah. Alright Kak Jen, um, now itu kita dah cakap pasal band tu dan okay, hopefully mungkin ada impact lah apa benda yang kita cakap ni pada orang Mungkin boleh spark orang Insya untuk Allah berfikir Allah. sekilang, insyaAllah kita 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 ni pun orang Islam juga dan kita pun uh, bekerja dalam industri ni Of course kita nampak benda yang mungkin orang yang di luar daripada industri muzik ni tak nampak Jadi jangan terlalu salah sangka dengan kerja kita orang ni Kita ni pun cuba untuk mencari kerja yang halal juga Actually we are professionals lah Wan When in, the, in the thing <laughs> the doc, Please t- cite your your uh, profession Doctor, lawyer, no, 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 others Yeah, I, I, I feel like I want to write professional yeah. because what we do we do as a professional we we're, we're not my my in my music for yeah. the fun of it we're doing it because we're professionals at what we betul, do betul. so hey that's good kita kena ubah that mindset because kat jen saya pernah ada this uh, dulu kan saya buat youtube kan jadi saya ada this uh, perjumpaan bukan perjumpaan findings dalam bahasa Melayu apa finding bahasa Melayu apa perjumpaan <laughs> no i mean ah uh, penem- uh, penemuan yes penemuan thank you penemuan sebab saya perasan kan kalau uh, apa orang kata rakyat-rakyat secara defaultnya orang Malaysia ni akan cakap kerja tu professional kalau dia doctor lawyer in uh, yes. accountant yeah. yes semua yang er 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 kat belakang yeah, yeah. ni doctor <laughs> lawyer engineer yeah. tapi <laughs> macam kita yang shen shen Oh. Technician, musician, beautician oh. ah, Ini semua yang tak pro Bro, kau tak pro bro <laughs> So what jadi. do we have to do? Musician <laughs> Beautician Beautician <laughs> So tukarlah term itu okay. <laughs> Arranger okay. je professional sebab dia, uh, uh. But l- let me tell you I mean a musician is uh, is uh, probably the most professional Because he can go anywhere in the world You can shove him a, a piece of music and he can play it for you. <laughs> yes. He doesn't even need to speak the language; he just plays. Play, yeah. So <laughs> musicians are professionals. Excuse yeah. me. Yes. Okay. See, you say. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yes. yes. Music Universal. Is okay, so now Kak Jen, saya ada lagi isu yang saya nak minta Kak Jen bongkar. Eh? Banyak isu. Banyak <laughs> isu. Sebab saya rasa macam oh ini ini menarik untuk di di dibincangkan. Okay. 
Berbalik kepada MCO tadi Bila kita dah start um, Buat buka balik in, uh, Kita punya ekonomi ni uh, Concert banyak Gigs banyak Which is Bagus Dalam masa 2-3 tahun ni Sebagai musician pun Saya happy sebab uh, Kita like Setiap bulan tu ada Ada job Ada gig yang datang kan <coughs> Tapi Bercakap pasal artis uh, Malaysia no, Kita go to Kita punya local um, Penyanyi lah Artis penyanyi Sebab saya rasa Dalam kita banyak konsert ni Banyak juga konsert uh, Konsert-konsert Artis daripada luar negara Yang contohnya macam Daripada Indonesia pun Banyak gak Hampir setiap bulan ada Artis daripada Indonesia Which Kak Jen What do you think Is it a, a good thing Or not really a good thing Untuk kita punya local scene I have never been I mean but this is personal opinion yeah? mm-hmm. I have never been against International artists coming here uh, Number one Because I think it's is good for us to see and and learn from them and sometimes uh, for me I, I don't go to many international concerts I'll, I'll admit but if I work an international concert I learn from the their crew and their roadies mm-hmm. and uh, and the way they the chatter they do and I find that hey we are, we are quite very close we, we work the same uh, charter we do the same eth- yes I've learned that our crew is any time as standing if not better because we can work longer hours without <laughs> complaining and do even more things hmm. so uh, having opened my eyes to that I, I really learn uh, something that's way uh, something from internationals coming here mm-hmm. and the same thing uh, in the mu- on the music side or on the performance side if there's something that we can learn from the internationals, of course, I, I totally get that it's all about the money. <laughs> the internationals don't do one show one time, which is what we do. Mm. Unfortunately, we don't do... Nowadays, maybe we can do two or three. Lah, one in Singapore, one in, in Borneo side. Tapi, they do one show 300 times. Yeah, yeah. They, they tour that show, they tour the costumes, they tour everything. So... It makes the money and the effort worth your while. Where else kita kita buat sekali je show yeah. tu. So your investment in the show uh, is a little bit difficult lah. Uh, so we cannot compare why we cannot do a show like uh, Coplay. Mm-hmm. Coplay does this everywhere they go. So um, it is. For me, internationals coming here is fine. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, the, uh, too many uh, artists coming here will, t- will take our rice bowl. Then fight lah. Mm. Fight. Get up and fight and prove that you can get more people than those <laughs> people. What the heck? No, saya kan? rasa mungkin itulah antara isu-isu yang selalu orang akan bangkitkan. Which macam, alah ramai sangat artis daripada luar datang habis kita punya local act ni kenapa tak diberi apa uh, pendedahan ataupun buat konsert untuk kita punya local artis ha. so so what kata kat Jen go and fight lah yeah fight i mean i i, I very much understand that a promoter who is the person who brings the artist mm-hmm. is of course going to be the he's going to look for an artist that draws crowd lah yeah definitely lah so i mean let's just be straight like i said Everybody treats this industry like a business Except the people that are working in, in <laughs> the damn business you got to treat yourself like a business Then we'll start going places yeah. why, why do people come to those people's concerts? Because they got a lot repertoire Probably mm. 37, 38 hit songs, yeah, 40 hit songs and, and those people in Malaysia that have that number of hit songs Do have those kind of concerts Ella, yeah. Awi, oh, yes. Wings, A Search, Datuk Siti Anwar, they all have Sheila Majid, they all have X number of hit songs So, kita kena faham uh, The kind of um, uh, w- for, for me, everything is about o- Open uh, yep. o- Open, what do you call it? Uh, competition Com- yes, We, yes, we, we do not become jago kampung Okay, We don't become jago kampung mentality We compete at the highest level ever Honestly speaking, that's why uh, some of our musicians and our artists are making it around the world. In China, I mean, when they go to China, that's straight away international, you know. That is not... China is what? Is, is Mandarin the number one spoken language now? Yes. I think. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think it is. Either number one or number two. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, 
you can imagine that uh, they are working at international level at stadiums that f fill a hundred thousand people that sell tickets out in in uh, half an hour to one hour gone hundred thousand tickets. Mm -hmm. So why can't we memupuk that kind of thought here in in Malaysia? Even football is also struggling with this. Yeah. Kenapa kita tak boleh fill stadium? Tapi kita gunakan uh, JDT sebagai uh, example. Uh, example. They can fill stadiums. They fill stadiums because that rasa semangat tu. Yeah. Semangat Johor tu. And that's the semangat we should do the whole of Malaysia. Semangat Malaysia. Semangat tu. Malaysia tu. Yeah. yeah, sebab kalau orang nak kata... Uh, Ya, yeah, banyak artis daripada luar datang Malaysia sebab artis-artis kita tak mampu. Yang itu memang kita akan again. Kita ada banyak local-local artis, yes. local act. Not just yang orang sedia tahu ni siapa macam Siti ke, Datuk Siti, uh, lepas tu Annie Zakri, lepas tu siapa tu? Uh, whoever lah yang ramai-ramai tu. Hujan, Bang Fiz, Mazdo. Yes. Uh, yang orang tak kenal tu. Yes. I mean, Lama lagi yang power. Yes, and and those artists, those artists then can do banyak banyak shows, mm -hmm. and people still don't get fed up. People like Bang Face, Hujan, Masdo, they rearrange their repertoire. They play uh, concert material when they're in concert. When they're at gigs, they play gig style. When mm -hmm. they go to concert level, concert. the energy level is way different. So they understand the game, they understand the business, mm -hmm. they understand their fans. Yeah. And I think that is very important for all artists to understand. Uh, but this comes with practice. That's why gigging is very, very important. Gigging is good for building your name as an artist. And when you are ready up to a certain level and got X number of material, then you can go to the next level. Mm -hmm. and, and that you find people like Plague of Happiness, uh, Massacre Conspiracy, all these people moving up because they have enough material, uh, enough yeah. stage time, performance time. It is a learning experience for everybody who is an artist and even for us who work behind the mm -hmm. scene. It's a learning experience. Every show we do, we learn something. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, ini adalah benda yang uh, saya suka like last time Pak Kajian ada pernah mention macam all this gig plays macam incubator untuk our artists kan. Sure. So, before dia nak boleh main dekat stage-stage yang besar macam level concert, mana dia orang perform? Ah? Inilah gig-gig space yang kecil-kecil yang orang datang 50-80 orang. Ini yang saya betul-betul tak faham also another thing is because kalau kita tengok anywhere else in the world mm -hmm. uh, dia ada touring circuit dan uh, because is memupuk talent mm -hmm. is building talent so when we don't allow uh, people to perform in universities because universities is where the the people are Nurture, nurturing yeah. yes exactly the same thing as those people that are performing on stage those people are nurturing uh, Uh, their taste, mm -hmm. what they like, what they don't like. I mean, honestly, not everybody's going to like metal, mm -hmm. and not everybody's going to like balada. Yeah. So you have to give everybody the opportunity to learn to love what they love, and and at that level, we should be allowed to. In other countries, what do you do? You start off uh, playing in the university. Mm -hmm. You start as a university act. Mm -hmm. From the university act, you go out of your university and start to gig. Mm -hmm. From the gigging act, you become the opening act. Some some big guy will spot you and yeah, okay, you're gonna open for This My Chemical Romance <laughs> or whatever Coldplay. Big name. And then it. after that, when you get enough stage time, you will become the big act. Yeah. So it's a it is a nece necessary step to take for any performer to get that kind of opportunity. Tapi sini kita tak dapat opportunity tu. But everybody is always looking for a Datuk Siti or a Yuna or yeah, a semu, uh, betul, yes. Faham, faham. Semua orang cari yang ni, tapi dia orang datang dari mana? Dia orang datang dari bawah ni. So tapi yang bawah ni yang kita tak jaga. Yes. So they jaga themselves. Every hmm. kita jaga kita at at this level. Nobody wants you when you're zero. Okay. Everybody wants you when you're a hero. So <laughs> so uh, I think it is important for people to understand that. Uh, our Datuk Sitis and our uh, Yunas and our Anwazins all came from somewhere and, and, and it requires your support to get them places. I mean, without a doubt, all of the artists understand that it's their fans that bring them somewhere. 
and that's why they perform the the best ever. You you look at Hujan. Hujan can even stand there and uh, no can even ask, okay, what song you want to hear? He can even ask them, okay, you nak dengar lagu apa sekarang I buat untuk awak. Uh, so he knows. He 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 keeps that. I mean, they went up even without radio airplay, okay? Yeah, yeah. Zero yeah, yeah. radio airplay. So anybody who's complaining, I, I cannot go, please, ada banyak example kita yang go tanpa radio airplay. So, it's not a formula for everybody. There is no such thing mm-hmm. as a formula in our business. There's no right, there's no wrong. But you can only but try. But yeah. you must try. You must try everything yes. you can. Yes, but the... It's, it's a journey sebenarnya kan Betul Sebagai artis ni Dia tak ada like Fix formula You baru setahun uh, Buat band And then you apply the formula Terus jadi tak It's a journey It, it can take 10 years yeah. 20 years We never know Most of the time It takes 10 years Because if you look at The international artist pun Because, because we never see That backstory mm, yeah. We only see Teng, Peng, oh, Suddenly uh, <laughs> Became Sting Suddenly became Coldplay Suddenly <laughs> became Lady Gaga Tapi The backstory yeah, yeah. We the backstory is long. Yes, yes. Taylor Swift go and knock Taylor on all. Yeah, yeah the, her parents take her all over Nashville and knock on every door. Everybody said thank you very much, bye bye. But now look at where she got. is. Yes, yeah. exactly because it's perseverance. It's all yeah. about that, and and so uh, when they're at concert level, we have to respect that. Mm. We, no matter who the artist is or what the artist, what genre the artist playing, classical music or. Whatever it is, you got to respect that they've been through the journey to get there. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, it, it's full on respect. Uh, I have no problems with internationals coming in because I think to myself, compete uh, openly. Um, we got to learn from how they do it. Um, although, yes, people are going to choose. Some people's mindset is international sure bagus. Actually, not really. Kita uh, standing. All our big performers are standing. Awi ke, M. Nasir ke, Faizal Tahir ke, they are standing, okay? It's only that we don't get the platform to, yeah, to go Agree. even bigger. Agree. You know? Uh, ini pasal konsep ni kalau kita sembang memang akan berjela-jela panjang. Tapi ada satu, satu lagi Kak Jen. Benda yang saya betul-betul nak tanya in your opinion. I mean, saya mungkin ada my own finding ataupun pertemuan <laughs> tadi <laughs> tapi okey saya nak tanya you juga Kak Jen because uh, kita dalam 2 3 tahun yang kebelakangan ni terlalu banyak konsert uh, kita ni kalau bercakap pasal konsert pasal ekonomi pasal human behavior dia ada pattern dia tahu like it or not kita ni semua akan ada pattern graph dia tu ataupun dia akan bubble yang expand at one point dia akan meletup so adakah in your opinion bila kita ada terlalu banyak sangat konsert and gigs Sampai kadang-kadang dalam weekend tu ada sampai 10 gig So event And back to back minggu depan pun ada lagi Adakah benda tu akan memberi impact yang negatif juga kepada kita punya music industry? In, in the end, it, in the end it will all iron out lah Benda ni is a cycle lah We will yeah. have a cycle of banyak-banyak and then tak ada And then a little bit more and it's, it's very very normal the hard part for us is kita cater the same audience. Mm-hmm. Music goers adalah the same audience. So, kita kena belajar macam mana kita nak grow kita punya audience to a bigger number of people that will come out and support local music and and watch local music whether it be indie or or mainstream. Mm-hmm. I mean everybody has this impression that mainstream also nang je. No, mainstream also having problem with radio airplay. <laughs> mainstream also having a problem doing concert. It's not uh, just because they mainstream they senang. Mm-hmm. Different problems, of course, different types of problems, but still problems. So, um, I, I obviously after coming out of COVID, number one, everybody miss l- being <laughs> live. <laughs> live music <laughs> was. <laughs> the, yeah, um, <laughs> Uh, you know, it really showed a lot of people how much live music is necessary for the soul. Yeah, yeah. Because you go there, you really enjoy. You lepas. You d- mm-hmm. you don't think about your problems. You're watching that for for the two hours that you're sitting there, gone. Yeah, your yeah. problems are gone. Okay. Um, so I I think that a lot of people learned that. So they went out with their gaji which they kept for two years and spent oh. with a vengeance okay uh, bought <laughs> merchandise <laughs> pergi <laughs> gig pergi concert pergi travel oh my goodness uh. the number of Malaysians I said 
Manalah dia orang dapat duit ni Un- Unfortunately We are all one of those That didn't have any money For two years yes. uh, Gig economy again So um, No money But those people Who had jobs Have two have years been. of money That yeah. they couldn't spend at all So that really reflected In our economy Coming out of COVID mm-hmm. But I'm happy Because I- eventually That money came back Into into our economy And funded Yeah. Us doing shows, so um, yeah, it, it will. I think this year it will even out already. You yeah, will see yeah. a, f- a lot more shows having a harder time selling tickets. Yeah. People have to be a little bit more uh, safe with their money. Yeah. So whatever happens, uh, things yeah. normally even out lah. Uh, so that means. Uh, After 2, 3 tahun yang konser tak henti-henti Orang pergi tengok gang, 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 gang. So dia dah sampai satu level fatigue dah yes. Dah penat dah yes. nak tengok, tengok konser So they'll be more choosy about the, yeah, co- the concerts betul. they go to They'll probably go to the bigger concerts uh, And and those that can't afford will go to the gigs For, yeah, for, for yeah. sure But you know uh, the the other thing li- leading into to this And probably let's We probably need to close soon. Is <laughs> is the economy <laughs> the economy of doing a, a concert? I, I I think many of you have probably read. Uh, it was a comedy because everybody said, "No, Taylor Swift cannot come in here. She's too sexy. She's too nice. She does that." The next thing, uh, she sold out to Singapore s- six nights, and everybody said. Why didn't we take Taylor Swift? Why, why, what, yeah. What's wrong with uh, you guys? Uh, Are you uh, stupid or what? We should have taken Taylor Swift. He's like, Oi, make up your mind, boleh tak? Apa uh, cerita Sebelum ni tak boleh, tiba-tiba you boleh pula. Which one? Which one? Yeah, I mean, which one do you want? And and you know, you don't have to be an economist to understand how she or how this one show for six nights is going to bring money. I mean, one, three hundred thousand tickets sold mm. for six nights. Okay. Let's say 20% of those people are, are, are local people, in Singaporeans mm-hmm. that bought the tickets. So we got 240,000 foreign visitors coming to Singapore. And let's say they spend 2,000... Ringgit each. No, no, uh, no 2,000 sing, sing each, each person. A ticket, air flight, accommodation, food shopping. Uh, and takkan you just going to sit there and, and go to the concert. You, you will spend you, on uh, other things, right? So we're talking about 2,000 times 240,000 uh, visitors. We're talking 480,000. Oh, sorry, sorry, 480 million, million. income. Yes. Income. You For know. the country. For I the mean, country. Across semua bid, uh, semua apa orang kata yes. tu industri yang ada kat situ. Not just the music. Sebab tu lah negara-negara macam Singapore begitu nak. Yes. Uh, cons- uh, Taylor host co- uh, Taylor Swift punya konsert Yang Malaysia Kalau kita berbalik kepada asal yang kita borak tadi tu Malaysia ni tak boleh semua benda I mean itu bila kita pandang daripada satu sudut But if we look at the bigger picture See benefit dia tu bukan hanya untuk seorang atau dua Maksudnya benefit dia tu outweigh I mean this is only one of the benefits which mm-hmm. is economic mm-hmm. But we have to look at Singapore itself Singapore is known to be a financial uh, uh, giant mm-hmm. a tech giant I mean a factory they they do high yeah. tech uh, factory uh, um, manufacturing sorry and they have inf- good infrastructure very modern so now with them supporting the arts they bring the full world attention yeah, right onto to them yeah. and everybody says wow such a modern community uh, and a very forward thinking yeah. um, government to support the arts whether or not they really like the arts itu belakang that, kira that's belakang kira <laughs> but they know that using the arts will straight away bring worldwide attention to them yeah definitely more than f- uh, the, the, the financial more than the high tech manufacturing the arts is straight away hello taylor swift Just imagine yeah. kalau Taylor Swift ate the nasi ayam and said this is the best nasi ayam in the world. Yeah, right? betul. <laughs> kat Singapore punya nasi ayam. Habis yang Malaysia ni pun yeah. barulah macam, <laughs> eh nasi ayam kat Malaysia pun ada lah. Eh, Singapore tu curi kita punya lah. Okay, sabar. Sabar je lah. Sabar je <laughs> <laughs> So yes, I mean it opens the road for people to work the concert. Yeah. It opens the road for people who are supplying everything around the concert. I mean... You couldn't get a room in Singapore if you didn't have one thousand sing dollar, okay, to to stay for for the during this time. You can forget it. Yeah. 
So gila gila. So uh, sebenarnya isu ni and the last thing mm-hmm. is the A-lister is going to bring a positive image. Definitely. If they walk away ha- having a good concert and they're very very happy, guess what? That news is going to go all over the place in in where from where they came from back to Hollywood or wherever they are. Yes. Such a wonderful time. And and you're going to have more and more people. Mm, yeah. So it it just brings uh, brings more, more investment lah in a way. Mm, yep. So itu um, maksudnya kalau kita berborak pasal konsert-konsert yang ada dekat Malaysia ni Not just Malaysia lah I mean impact konsert terhadap artis kita Terhadap ekonomi Terhadap oh, kita macam sangat profesional eh? eh tapi memang kita profesional <laughs> pun I mean kita harus pandang dari sudut yang lebih besar lah Yang holistik <laughs> Nampak? Keluar holistik <laughs> Tapi uh, I think it, it, the important thing is Kita membuat keputusan mengikut fakta dan Pengiraan bukan emosi. Ya yeah, betul. Saya We setuju. always love to do uh, decisions based on based emotion. Based on emotion, cannot. yes. Tak boleh, yeah. cannot. And and emotion dan juga kita punya pegangan. I mean, you cannot samakan ataupun expect orang to have the same belief as you. Correct. Okay. As long as kita tak berbicara belah, as long as you know tak ada orang mati, tak ada orang you know. Even worse, we are we are masyarakat majmu. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We are we are pelbagai orang, pelbagai. so we should be tolerant of each other. Yeah. And yeah, doesn't matter what what concert as long as there's peminat. Because if there's no peminat, there'll be no concert. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, wah, seronok lah topik kali ini. Nice. Okay, saya rasa okay kok kajian eh. Kita kita katuk lah eh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright. Kesian. Alright guys, so uh, terima kasih sebab bersama kita untuk yang uh, topik yang kali ini. Uh, tapi jangan lupa untuk bersama kita lagi pada minggu hadapan untuk topik-topik yang lebih menarik. Uh, tapi kalau korang ada apa percadangan ataupun benda yang korang nak tambah ke, nak komen ke, uh, boleh komen uh, dekat bawah, dekat YouTube, uh, section komen tu ataupun uh, DM kita di... Uh, social media uh, belakang petas Korang boleh follow link kita ada sediakan Di ruangan description dekat bawah Dan uh, kepada Sebab kita shoot ni bulan puasa So kepada yang berpuasa uh, Semoga berpuasa yang puasa benar Bukan puasa yang yuk Kak Jen nak bagi apa-apa ucapan No I'm good <laughs> How okay. can I beat that statement For you Okay guys oh. See you next week Bye Bye-bye.